Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Okay. Well, I got it, guys. Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Well, no wonder we didn't get this before. I mean, you didn't get it before. Um, I know Bye. what it is. <laughs> Sense you later. It's the peach. Peach pit. It's a peach pit, isn't it? You eat the sweet, fleshy rewards. Check it out. Fruit. No thanks. These are our only rugs. Yeah. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. Yeah. But it's just a fruit. With a hit inside there you go oh my god it's so simple why didn't we get that oh man that's been bugging us all day but what does it have to do with the pyramid huh oh nothing it's just something our friend becky yorn told us this morning uh-huh hmm. she thinks she's so smart i can't wait to rub this thing in her face so uh can i go in there now oh yeah yeah whatever knock yourself out <laughs> You cheeky little scamps. I'm going in. Okay. So, Becky, you're in there. That's Curtis's uh, ex-girlfriend. I wonder if we get to meet her. Wow, so this looks crazy. Um, what's this? I wonder what that symbol means. I wonder what any of it means. The top of this pyramid is transparent. So strange. But pretty. Look at that. That looks really pretty. What's it's this? that same religious symbol. But this one is recessed, like a socket. Oh, I wonder what we can do with that. Such strange shapes in here. Mm. There's that symbol again. Okay, well... That symbol is so strange, let's but familiar. Do this. Bing! Ooh. Space-aged. Um. What? Uh, man, my mouth tastes like death. Uh. Oh, hey, you found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. Um. Hello, spaceman. You're welcome. Oh yeah. Uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. <laughs> okay. Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, god. <laughs> Were you really dead? Were you really dead? No, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for... 300 years? Ooh. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. <gasps> they were a little annoying. You can't say that? Part of the reason I went into Chrysolation to tell you the truth. You can't say that? That's mean! Um, I'm guessing, because this is all spacey, and the boy, um, the boy, Shay, his loading screen looked all spacey so he's probably connected um, i'm gonna play his story by the way um after i'm finished with this one i know hannah's um doing both at the same time at the moment but i kind of uh i like to i like to finish one story and then go to the other i can't jump around it makes my head hurt a bit um so does the ship does the have ship any weapons? you mentioned have any weapons hey whoa there's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls and it may or may not have already my whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? Go on. I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. No. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. You better do. Um... What's Laruna? What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Is Shay there? Who knows if it's even still there. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm gonna need to fix some more wiring before I can even gain access to it. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. 
So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. Okay. Can I help? Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? Sure. No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all uh, afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. Cool. Um, what was your mission? Operation Dandelion. Hmm. The Runa was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. Okay. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, okay see you later. Uh-huh. Well, hopefully there's more to his story in Shay's thing. There's already something in there, and it already looks a lot like my stained glass. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops. Oh. Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Uh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam so for that. So clumsy. The bottom socket is empty. Uh, yes, you broke my amplifying quartz, remember? I'm going to replace it, I swear. The top socket is empty. Yeah, because you stole my laser coil, and you'd better put it back. Yeah, I don't know why I took that. Um... Hey, what are you doing? I found a replacement for your quartz thing. Maybe, but you put it in the wrong socket. You get that order wrong and you'll melt us down into a sad little puddle. Okay. Okay, I took it out. But I thought it looked good in there. It's almost as if you're trying to get my ship to overheat. Hmm... There, it's back. Safe and sound. I hope you put it in the right socket. Otherwise, the scanning beam could overheat. And kill Mog Chothra? There. Good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it in the right slot. Okay. Let's have a look around. Nailed it. I'm pretty certain. The top of this pyramid is transparent. So strange. Such strange shapes in here. Hi. Hey. Then I'm gonna need to... Any luck so far? Well, there are some missing parts, but if I can get them all, I should be able to get something working. As a weapon? Oh, uh, no, sorry. Get my ship working so I can get out of hmm. here, I mean. I haven't started on the whole weapon thing yet. Let me know if you have any ideas. Okay, see you later. Uh -huh. What do you need? If you tell me what you need, I might be able to help. Do you want this? Have a stool. Need something to sit on? I just got up. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy walking around for a while. It was worth a try. Uh, sap? Well, that no. Wait, is the sap is really sticky? Want some? Why do you have a bucket of sap? Are you trying to make sap castles? Okay, that didn't work. I wonder if, on second thought, I don't hey, like it. Hey, put that there. laser coil back. No, That's shush. How I generate light for my search beam? I'm just cleaning it. I'm gonna put these the other way around. <laughs> Looks better here. No, it doesn't. Are you trying to kill us? Should we do it, guys? Should we do it? Uh oh. What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying um... cords after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful weaponized. Uh huh. Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! So, we can get rid of Mog Chathra. And I told Becky, you're so ugly, <laughs> I'm glad I'm blind. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> okay, the targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Uh... Okay, shut it down. Okay. Just use quick bursts or that 
hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Aw, well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from steel bunting, I'm sure you're not gonna need it. Kiss. No kiss. Oh, no kiss. I'd like to kiss a spaceman. Right, let's get this show on the road. So what can I do with this? Marshall Dune? Mm -hmm. You done yet? How about now? Is the construction coming along better? Ah, the sand is falling apart, and so am I. Better let you get back to the feast. Hmm. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Okay. Right, we need to finish construction, so... Let's cut this ribbon already. The rib how is it going to get finished? I don't think that would help the arena get built. I am missing something. Here, this will make your oh. sand mixture stick together better. Dirt. Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. So simple. Hey, Clarence, bring that load down here, will you? I hope you're right about this. Of course I'm right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Um, shh. Let's watch. Doink. There you go. Here comes a wave. I can't look. Sploosh. What'd I tell you? Yeah. Now that's a sandcastle. Neptune Looks ain't got like nothing on me. Business. Okay, so... We should be ready to face up to Mog Chathra. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Right. You know what to do, girls. Let's go, tentacle face. Ugh. Seriously, this whole thing is creepy. There he is. He looks like, um, Tentacruel from Pokemon, doesn't he? Tentacruel. Right. <gasps> yep. <gasps> Munched. <laughs> Let's go. How do you like lasers? This way. Follow me. Oops. Um. Laser him. Let's get that laser ready. I'm here. I'm just gonna keep running. Um. It's time, Alex. Laser him. Yeah, you recognize me, don't you? W which one do I need to go to? Alex. All right, there we go. How could I miss a big guy like that? It's charging back up. Okay, let's keep running. I, I don't like the idea I'm that here. he could zap me. Come on. Okay, ready. Take the shot! There you go. Right in the goopy face. Do it! No good. What's it doing? Come on. Fire away. There we go. Ooh, sounds like that hurt. One down. No. Need to wait. No, come on. Charge up, charge up, charge up. Take the shot! There we go. Two down. There's more where that came from. Hit it, dead eye god. Mm. Gotcha. Now, hold Last down. one. Oh. Fire away. No. What? What's going on? Ooh. Now. Get him in the face. Uh. Fire away. No good. His mouth is closed. Okay. What if I pry it open? There we go. I can surprise you. Yeah, short things can surprise you. Whoa. Come on, get him in get the face. Head, Ooh. Die, you monster. Die quick. Or we're gonna have a meltdown up here. Here we go. I think I've done it. 
Yeah, no more eating girls for you. No more chomping on the innocents, you big brain blob. Shame I couldn't have done it before he ate the other two girls. Oh well. Oh what? Am I... I think it's gone back to the beginning. Okay. Well, okay. Thanks for joining me so far in Vela's adventure, guys. Um, and I will start up Shay's adventure in the next episode. So, see you next time. Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. <laughs>